Hello YouTube, my name is Jason and this is Lion Mode. Today I'm going to teach you how to use polymorphism and then I'm probably going to go over some other stuff just because polymorphism is a small topic and there really isn't much to say about polymorphism but that it just means multiple forms and really that pretty much you can say let's go ahead and let's delete this part right here of our code that we used in the last tutorial and let's go ahead and let it keep uh, the extension on uh, that so let's go ahead and delete this and we're gonna delete all of this so now we have a main method and we have the animal class right here and then we still have this void pup this is polymorphism say I wanted to make a modification to this void pup control C that's how you do copy just in case you were wondering and then just paste it right here then I can come in here and say I am a crazy SOB that's polymorphism because I just made a modification to void pup and now it's different and if I go ahead and I use pup which I have to create an object for because this isn't static meaning there isn't more than one so let's go ahead and do a dog um, object one equals new dog okay and then I could just come over here and just put object one and then oh yeah that was right okay and then I'm done that's pretty much how this works that's all of what polymorphism is it's just the ability to make a modification to one part of your uh, program with another part of your program so what I did was I just took uh, pup from the animal class and I made a modification with it with this part that's part of morphism remember the idea do not remember the definition it's just the ability to change one part of code with another part that's polymorphism that's one of the big foundations in a, a object oriented programming if you're doing this for a career remember polymorphism because I can almost guarantee it will be in the interview polymorphism the ability to change one part of your code with another part of your code easy as that now we're going to go over the keyword super and since we've just used this polymorphin example we can go ahead and use it and as you can see that what it does is it hides this part whenever it created this part right here so it really never really deleted that part it just kinda hid it from us so let me go ahead and give a quick example of how this super keyword works you cannot put it inside of this for the simple fact that this is a static and you can't use the static you can't use a super keyword inside of a static definition so we're just going to come down here and we're just going to go ahead and put super and we're going to put pup dot pup or we could even create another one and put it inside of this one and let's go ahead we'll go ahead and do that we'll just go void dot uh, bigger and we'll go ahead and just cut this right here out control X put it right here and then we'll just come over here and we'll just call uh, object one dot bigger and then just end it and when we print this we'll get I am crazy SOB and I will get I am crazy because this one right here actually calls the super classes pup whereas this one calls the subclass which is dog pup which was if you remember we used polymorphism to change it so let's go ahead and show that and if you notice it says I am crazy SOB because the first one that was called was pup and it wasn't even the super pup that's why this one was called because it was called from the subclass it just assumes that it's called from the subclass and when you use the super one then it assumes that it's being called from the 
uh, superclass, which was animal. And so when we called object bigger, it called it from here, which called the super pup, which was from animal, and it printed it right here on the screen. The second use of the super uh, keyword is you can call the super's uh, constructor by calling it inside of the constructor. Say we wanted the doll constructor, so let's go ahead and create a doll constructor. And of course, we have to create a doll constructor like this. It doesn't have to have any parameters, like so. And then you can simply call super, like so and then throw it in some parentheses and whatever uh, cons whatever parameters that constructor has we don't have one created you have to put them in right here so let's go ahead and create a constructor let's go ahead and do that we'll say animal and we'll give it um, we'll give it a integer x and a string y and then we'll just have it print out the integer x and the string y so and then we're just going to write a system dot out dot print line and we're going to go ahead and just put x and we're going to put plus some space and then we'll just put plus y we don't need it to be special or anything we'll just put that right there and it's now you see we get an error in here because it needs two parameters and see add argument animal int string int string and we have to add these in here so let's go ahead and add the arguments so we need to go ahead and put see it's saying speed right here because speed is an argument that it has which is this right here but we're not going to put that we're going to go ahead and just put some random number and then for this part we're just going to put yada or yaha ha 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 either way it works and we got to put these in double quotations and that's how that works so let's go ahead and run this and if you notice it calls that constructor because we used that super keyword inside of our dog class and when we created the dog class it called this constructor to be thrown out and that constructor called this constructor so this constructor got thrown with that because of that super keyword and that's how that works um that's all I'm going to go over in this tutorial. That's pretty much everything for the super keywords and polymorphism up to that point. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Jason. This was Lineware. Please comment, write, and subscribe, and have a great day.